It took the grace of God, begging, petitions, active, I don't know if I say prayers or what, to get this guest on this couch. And she's my friend, though. She calls herself my friend. But thank you to God <laughs> and his messes. I finally brought her on this couch. Please put your hands together for my friend, Tomike Adeoye, a, an actress, OAP, content creator, a philanthropist, a red carpet <laughs> host. <laughs> and you get foundation, my friend. Now. How far now? I want to say thank you. Don't thank me. How are you coming on this show? Pray for me. No, be me. They chase you. One day, eh, so I really you. want to be a guest. It's a lie. <laughs> Liar. Eh, Dickinesses don't lie. So, okay. You get one day where I, I look my guest list and mm. other people don't come to the show. I say, God, even if Toby K <laughs> is in Asuro, <laughs> or put her, <laughs> <laughs> bring her to the show and take her back. So that you approach me, Abby. I said, God, touch your heart. I now know my enemies. I know she said you know you know one come to show before. But no, as it God wasn't said, a, I promise now my you, prayers was it a wasn't walk. even that. Maybe so see, you know, that thing that we we're discussing before we even started the show. Mm-hmm. It's part of why like I've just been unable to come on your show. Like I'm just I'm just tired. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but at some point when I now realized that you started making it a thing that you you don't want to come, and I said, ah, this boy, I'm even going to go on the show and uh, shame him. It's because and I was see, fighting I started, everywhere in Lagos. <laughs> I started following up and saying to me, so what date? When are we shooting? Because I really see, trust me. Mm. Now you're hungry. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but Timmy, so you don't even understand how excited I was to come on this show today. Like, I've been go- I run from interviews. I'm not even trying to, it's not even about you. But I usually run from interviews because it's just like the same old it's story of my life. Discussion. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I usually run from like sit down, they say, come, let me talk to you. Usually mm. I'm the one that would talk to somebody. Like they run to exactly. Shot. Because just feel like you go and talk, talk, talk. But this one, I was so excited because mm. you know how you just it's just like a conversation it's what with I told you. Because to to you. <laughs> ah, I was tired. Like I was driving and I was actually looking forward to our conversation. I'm like, ah, I cannot. Wait, mm-hmm. well, that's that's sweet. I trust you, it my goes friend. It sweet now, and ah, you now. So, me care, mother of a child. I'm so happy to have you on my show. Thank you very much. Good to have you. Um, every everyone who knows us knows that we're very friendly, but I don't think we've had any conversation like this before. Mm-mm. Yeah, in public. Yeah. No. Okay, so let me be very professional. Oh, right? okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm actually okay. curious to have a conversation with you, right? Okay. Um, when I look at you, life is so interesting. There's so, so many elements to you. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious about what your childhood was like. I want you to tell me like the earliest memory of you growing up as Tommy Keller. You can remember what it was like. Like ah, I think I was a very stubborn. I don't even know if I was I stubborn. I perceive. Or maybe they just said I was stubborn. You know mm. when they don't understand? I was stubborn, Jeremy. I know. <laughs> because I remember one vividly. Like the only thing I remember about primary school was my mom, no, I used to cry going to school. Like the school, the first school I attended was down the road, not far from the house. So like I used to go with my brother and then I would start crying from when I'm dressing up to when I leave the house. I'll be crying on the street till I get to school. Uh, you didn't like school? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I know the funny thing, I love school so much, but I don't understand the part of why I had to cry. So it's my mom that used to remind me of it now that she was so bothered for a very long time. Until my brother said, oh, don't mind that. When we reach the school gate, she would just clean, clean her hair and then she would Was it the hassle of getting you to school that was stressing you? I don't know who I was trying to stress. <laughs> but it just made me know that even as a child, I was that corny. Like, why would yeah. I think, let me cry for them at home. Let me cry just on the road. Just in case they would say, let me stay then back. When I, but I loved going to school. Like, I had friends. I enjoyed mm. school. So I would get to the school gate and I would wipe my face and walk in. So it just made me imagine the kind of child that I was. I don't really have so many memories because I know today remember things when people start saying, but I, mm. I know I, I enjoyed my childhood. Like, I had really nice friends growing up. All those betrayal, betrayal that people used to talk about. I don't think I really experienced mm. any of those things. But, yeah, I think that's the earliest memory. That but that's I a good thing. You know, some people experience the worst type of friendships when they're growing up. <sighs> I'd be very lucky with friendships. So. I think I'm fairly because, lucky. I think because I'm a good person. Mm. Be... <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, if you insist. I'm actually a good person. Right. So, and I... I <laughs> No, I think I'm a good person. I, so I attract good just, people too. Exactly. But because once in a while you attract you, what, once in a while you meet some mad people mm. that will understand that you can't avoid them. Mm. But somehow you just kind of tell when somebody has your vibe. You see, like you now, if you're not a good person, I'll not be here today. 
They patronized me to me care because it took me two years to arrive here. I'm shy here. Yeah. Am I here? I'm not here. You're shy here. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. But I've had really great friendships growing up. And I don't have too many friends. But you know that kind of person that you are friends with everybody. But you know your real friends mm-hmm. and your close friends. And <laughs> Wisdom. Because the way people feel like, ah, you know a lot of people. They feel like my house will be full like two, mm. four, seven. But I can count how many people actually and have so my, my address. When my brother moved in there, it's like, yeah, you, do you have a problem? <laughs> because nobody was coming through the gates. Every to the end for that story, he was so I he was know. wondering why exactly what's oh, going on. He, he knew. So he thought that when he when he moved in, eh, hey, we'll as people, people every day, day oh. celebrity vibe. I said, look at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh God, God. yes, on the yeah. ground, and at the party where we see each other. For peace of let's mind, let's just leave it like day. that. So, this is yeah, you reduce this fight and argument. Mm. Let's. But I, I mean, this your personality has always been with you. I remember you seen at one event that we were that when you were younger people used to make fun of you for laughing too much like oh, yeah. like you were too bubbly you're too warm it's funny how now that's what's part exactly. of your personality that's selling and you know because of how they made fun of me i didn't even i didn't think it was actually okay to laugh that loud mm. although i was stubborn you know how when somebody says oh i want to insult you because of this because of that you now own it uh, and now say but somehow i still felt like ah, is my laughter that loud but still though i didn't i didn't care but i still considered it ah, should i reduce it but because i was now nah, okay you want to so no oh, yeah, now let's laugh. <laughs> so, so they were you're best. <laughs> Yeah, they were stubborn. always insulting me and I did not even know like it was something to actually be grateful for until like I got on social media and obviously like I put out myself on social media and people could see like oh this is how you know you mm. can't really fake it for too long so mm. they could just see that oh this person is always excited she's always laughing she's always happy so I- I'm like how can people be liking me for this thing and then back then they were actually insulting like how how does it's it make the, sense? These like, things that exactly. How is it my laughter? Like someone will say, "Oh, your laughter just makes me happy." Or I just open my social media and I just mm-hmm. see you and I'm happy. I'm like, just, just like that. It's the grace like, of God. Grace you know, of social media, right? You've had a, a very interesting trajectory on social media, but some of you started from school, Unilag. Mm-hmm. I went to Unilag too. I don't think we're friends in Unilag, but I knew that I knew of you. Yeah, I think I knew of I you. I knew but, of you too, actually. Yeah, but we were not, modeling. I was modeling, yeah. but we're not exactly friends. Um. You know, like, we all have different experiences. I'm, I'm wondering what your experience of Unilag was like. I have my own experience, but what was your own experience? <laughs> well, I was in Unilag, but I don't think Unilag was means. really in me. Eh? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just that I'm trying to say, as in, did I ever really enjoy Unilag like Exactly. That? Because I was hustling so much that ah, I did not even... Ah, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> like... I was. I tried to get to the radio station. Like I um, auditioned, and then I began working at the radio station. I said, "No, be say work code, and they pay me." So like now, nah, volunteer, mm. they do. Yeah. But I used that one to gain experience, like all through. Oh, my so you stay. did radio? Yeah, I did radio. That's how I got my experience. Yes, and how that was how I got on TV as well for the mm. first time because people referred me from the radio station. So that was how I got my first TV job. So I started at the radio station from year two till I left University of Lagos, and so it was for me. I would have to be on radio at the radio station by 6.30 a.m. And I have classes by 8, 9 a.m. So my own day has started since like 5.30. When my mates are still, wow. <laughs> still sleeping. So at that point in time, it's more like I was already working in school. Yes, so yes, it yes, wasn't yes. about, oh, we're, we're in short. I, my classmates, it's only in class we see each other. Like mm. at some point, it became so hectic that we weren't even really interacting as well. You don't five. go show again. You don't this one. <laughs> so for me, Unilag was like, ah, it was working what experience department were for you me. In? Oh, microbiology. So like the workload for microbiology wasn't as much? Or yeah? what? what do you mean by that? That's why I said I couldn't have even really enjoyed Unilag in all of mm. its totality because the workload of school is already a lot. It's a lot. Mm. And then the workload of working, trying to hustle and mm. everything is a lot. Now combine it together. No, it was, it was, what do you mean workload of microbiology is not a lot? Ha! Moshe project. You know what? Me, me, fair, but... I went to last suit. Ah. I did my project in last suit. Like, even my suit. And I was trying to get into Ebony Life TV at that same period. So, I had final year exams. I went for Ebony Life reality show. They kept, they kept us for a week. When I was supposed to be in school, preparing for my... <laughs> what if you had failed? Exactly. That's what I always think of. <laughs> so, I'm just like this. Like, what if I actually... You don't get anything from that competition. They are not come to school Monday and start, <laughs> start the exam. Thank God it wasn't like that. So, no, but uh, you, you started know. radio in 200 level. Uh-huh. Was there always a plan when you were probably in secondary school that you know what? When I get to this 
Ingrid Lago, this is what I'm going to do with my life. I'm going to be on TV, but this is a means to an end. Actually, I didn't even think it was going to be possible because I actually wanted to um, divert from microbiology to... No, from... I always wanted to study medicine initially, but then I was a science student and it was too late at the point when I knew that I wanted to go into mass form. Even my friends made just told me that, ah, so you want to be on NTA? You know this influencing was not really a thing it's then. So it was like, ah, we'll be watching you at 9 p.m. Eh? Yeah, at 9 <laughs> So, but I was like, I feel like Mascom is my thing. I used to watch um, Aisha Sese and I just love that um, Aisha Sese mm. and this is CNN. That was the only inspiration that I had that made me want to go into media. So, even when I got into Unilag, I wasn't even really trying to um, still follow through with the mass communication um, aspect. Mm. It was just when I realized there was a radio station <clears throat> there. I'm like, ah. And it's something I should be able to do. It should be fun. Yeah. Exactly. So you had no experience before? <laughs> no experience at all. Like, I learned on the job, and I'm just very grateful for that because it, that was where I got all my experience, yes, basically. Yeah, yeah. So. Speaking yeah. of social media, right? Hey. So, social, your social media life literally started in uni, like when you, yeah. you were just posting. What was it like? When did you first open Instagram? When did you start posting stuff that, you know what, I'm just going to be dumping this thing here? I think it was 2013. Um, you were already in school by the time? Yeah, I was in yeah. school already. I was in uni, like, I just actually enjoyed. 2013 or 2014, I just enjoyed sharing. Just and I love taking pictures. Eh? Mm. Oh my god! Every morning Before when I'm off? going to, to be careful. <laughs> I remember once I went to be careful. Was so viral. One hand in hand. Where's this? <laughs> ha. Oh my goodness! I just enjoyed sharing moments. Like I would buy food now. I would snap the food and post it. Like. This was before, before influencing. Stories, yes, though. so before stories, before influencing. So when you go post like the food for the main page. Yes, I go ah. post them like that. See now, launch. I be so 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 and so. I, ah. For ah. where? For back of a uh, Jaja. <laughs> no, now that time I don't have to date it? toasting. So you don't they carry me go places more. So at least <laughs> please we'll come to you at this toasting love. You have history. <laughs> We actually have history. Wow. So you don't know, they carry me go small, small places. Don't they open your eye? Don't they because open Because left for you now. <laughs> Mama, this is where you go into. This is talk. Like, when the wiki end this well, my eye was try. already open. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I was always taking pictures of everything and anything. And I even remember, like, back then, like, people were tired of me because they're always like, ah, ah, every, must you snap it? Must you post mm. it? This one, must you do that? So even when I started working um, on TV, I would take pictures of myself going for events, um, post the outfits. Then it now became a thing. Oh, where'd you get that outfit from? Because you know, obviously, you're on mm. TV. So, money day for makeup, money day for outfits. Yes. We'll the same makeup you, you use, feel yes. that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was very good for me. And that was actually how I became a social media influencer. Because mm. I just realized, ah, these people are using my head. I wear clothes. I will be selling the clothes for them free of charge because if they were to book a model mm. and pay for makeup, you know how much they would spend. But because I'm wearing it for my show, mm. I'm already modeling it for them and trying to get nice pictures for them. So that was how I said, you know what, I'm going to start charging for this thing. And that was how, like, it how became much did you thing. make first? The first oh, time ever? 20,000 for one dress. Ah, I think I made <laughs> But that money suits me. Eh? Ah, you went to school, wait, no, no, wait. I swear, the first person that I sent the race card to, they said, okay, they said, I would like you. I said, and I said, um, here's my rate card. Ah, that's what he's saying. You account. How many looks are you wearing? How many? Looks? Eh? How many looks? Ah, uh, uh, I can't count. I they wear clothes. That, that's, you know, that's they go. Now one clothes. Now you did crazy. Ah, uh, how many I won't wear? And now twenty twenty naira per clothes. I think I remember my first. My first gig was to sell banga soup. Eh? Ah, days of little beginning. Now banga soup my first sale was twenty five thousand. Are you dead? I said I can't write. Say good morning, Instagram. Money so sweet. No, I would never do it, but. That time was a lifeline. Of course. 25K uh, 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 from talking so on Instagram. Just so you were the talking on the regular uh, uh, day. Uh, so uh, that you would normally tell somebody and say, I did soup sweet. You mm. now call them. Ah, that influence that time, it was switched out. If so that, that beginning. Street. So like, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be very honest about, let's, let's even talk about Instagram and let's be honest mm. with what Instagram has done for us, right? Ah. Because this was you as a presenter. And there was even a time that Ebony Life was transitioning into movies, mm -hmm. right? I don't know. Were you sure about what your career was going to go after? Thankfully, because I had started Instagram, and that was something I shared at a mentoring session recently. So I did not even know that at that point, Ebony Life was like the, the highlight of my life. Yes. But regardless, yes. I was using that opportunity of 
having access to like the biggest events mm. to start sharing on social media such that I began to create an audience whereby mm, people knew that yeah. Tomike would be at this event and she would always carry us along and make us feel like we're at that event. Mm. So because of that, like maybe if like Dangote's daughter is getting married, obviously Ebony Life TV will be there. Thankfully, mm. if I'm the presenter that goes, I will take you because I have access to the bride dressing up and all of that BTS. You know, people you like post, her born yes. now. I go just they post them. Blogger, post blogger. Dance, I go post them. <laughs> this one, I go post them. Father, daughter, dance. I go post them. So like people started following me, started mm. enjoying. They'll be like, ah, if Tomika is there, we're actually there because we can mm. see what's going on. So for me, it helped me build that audience on Instagram such that by the time Ebony Life was transitioning to movies, I did not even feel it, thankfully. Because, because started making money yes, off social media. Yes, I was already media. making money off social media, which was more money, obviously. Oh! So. <laughs> they miss, why you call My friend, shy? I like and there was one time where we said, you know, they call call call, came close to you, you are the normal one. You, you they, are still, you see, why me? My friend, in terms they of influencer, so they have been, <laughs> see, you walk so these influencers can, can run. There was a time I could not stand <laughs> you. Ah, there was a time, wait first. So we can run that time I call you for, during lockdown, where I could not stand you. Ah, I remember. That lockdown. And it's what seems as you if you post like this, if you post dust like this, comments. <laughs> we could not we could not post three hours. We see the we see the reply comments saying go plenty. Oh my god. I say, God, this spirit of jealousy, I bind you. <laughs> it took the Holy Spirit for me to I said, God, how will I be jealous of this, my sister? I said, Toby care. It's not even really jealous, it's just no, me like I, I was really no God. Now only this <laughs> Because this talk which they talk, and they talk I'm God. <laughs> so I had to pick because I said, God. I said, it's your little going to cure this, this evil spirit from me. I had to pick the phone and say, so me care. I'm actually very jealous of you. What is it that you are doing to this, your, your lorry and be your gang? Your family that, I cannot, that I cannot do. I think that's why you now started giving me advice. I think was, that's one of the best yeah. advice any influencer has ever given me because you had told me to create community and interact with them more. That's when I started replying, oh. um, comments, and started, you know, engaging them. So, mm-hmm. They not feel like they were part of my brand. I knew that before, but I just, but, I just thought that it was hectic. Mm-hmm. You understand? Trying to, but now that I'm doing it, I enjoy it. I know their names. Yeah. I know their handles. I know people's birthdays. You know, all of that thing. Mm-hmm. I know they reach you. I know do reach I you. Know. But <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, <laughs> how, how did you know, how did you decide to build that template? Why did you run with that template of being familiar with your audience? Um, it wasn't even, it wasn't planned. It was later I realized it was one of the things that was working for me, which is mm. almost like at that point when we had that conversation. So it, I just enjoyed the interaction. And right from time, like, I found it so hard to call them fans because I'm like, this small girl. You I call my own supporters. <laughs> <laughs> because I can never say fans. Yeah. Just like I don't you. feel like imposter. <laughs> now, what's how they feel like? Now, what's, what, what, what so you make you celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> when you say you know, people, you they talk fast. Mm. So I've always been unable to say fans. So for me, um, family members was more comfortable for me. Like it felt mm. like, oh, these people love me and support me. Like at the end of the day, that's what family is all about. The beautiful thing about creating brands that have community is that I know that even if I go away for a while, the people who know that I need to post, like when I was away on holiday, as I wasn't posting, once I said that, you know what, I needed a break. They understood. They got yes, it after after actually, while they stopped messaging me that yes. you've not dropped till with till, you did not carry cup. They can't look forward to my <laughs> lifestyle video. Say, oh shit. Yeah. So now I don't resume my life, like, yes, you're back to us. Mm-hmm. So I'm so I begin to understand the importance of community, and that's what we're really selling. Exactly. Yeah. It is actually important. And mm. like for me, the pregnancy period made me actually appreciate community more mm. because like I felt like even after they knew, they all just respected my boundaries. They did not overdo. Yes. You know, I would see mm. messages like if you don't reply, it's fine. I'm not even expecting you to mm. reply. I'm just checking up on you and I just want you to know that we are praying for you. Like, Do you know I, I get people that pray for me? Yes. It said when I was pregnant, I never see prayer. Like, every mo- In short, if I did not even pray to God that morning, Man, SPPD, I already knew that. Tell me, God, SPPD. I just knew that people were praying. Like, it just, it felt very comforting and it was just beautiful to see mm. that. I mean, I had a community that was rooting for me. It just shows that there's a good side of social media. Oh, yes. There's a there very is. good side. And, very, and, very... and it's what you create. And I told myself from the beginning that no matter how bad this thing gets or how hard this social media gets, my community must be created to be love and light. You understand? Mm-hmm. If I see you are the followers that you are standing, they call yourself for each other for my conversation, just, out. I block you. You understand? Like, so I said, this is the point where you see young Christians, young people mm-hmm. just send me messages and 
all of those things. I'm just like, oh God, wow, this is finally the community I wanted to create. Mm-hmm. Like even on, on blogs, when they're t- trying to drag me, we don't see they go, they won't go yes, fight they for me. They're going to reach there. I say, yes, my champions. <laughs> I think it's actually, it's, that's the sweetest thing. Mm. And it's also about what you give off. You know, there are some people on social media that are, from their caption, go, you can tell like this there's one. There's always like, fights. There's always angst. Eh, there's something. Let's, let's give it to them. So the that, haters are coming for me. Oh, calm calm down. Please. Nobody did it. Uh, <laughs> so I feel like that also attracts the kind of audience yes. that you are. So you just automatically have fighters surrounding you. Yes, finish them. Destroy them. They don't know you. Who is that? Please. I, I don't mean, want... I, like I just like peace and sweetness <laughs> and happiness. When we just enjoy <laughs> the when we be happy. What has changed since... Uh, motherhood so let me tell you i know that you wear many roles like you can carry different roles on your head from actress to businesswoman philanthropist foundation owner <laughs> a tv presenter you can oh tell me you can gosh. wake up in the morning and be a tv presenter in the afternoon oh be a content creator in the evening be a red carpet host in the night be a wife I swear. but what changed after adding wife and mother to the, those roles um for wife, nothing actually changed. I think it even helped me. Um, really? Yeah, because my husband was not the typical. Not um, the friend that was safe. So <laughs> he was not the I'm a I'm not a married woman mm. kind of type. You are not a married woman. You can't do. So it never felt like anything changed. But oh, um, motherhood, eh? ah, I feel tired. Hmm. No way, you are just exhausted. Like who say you? You, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> because ah. We wake up, say, so you are tired. Like, how do you wake up tired? You've not done anything. You're already mm. so exhausted. So for me, I think that was what changed. So motherhood is very, very exhausting. It's a very beautiful experience. Like, when I'm in the house, I cannot wait for my daughter to sleep because mm. she's so energetic. She's so, but when she sleeps, like, I'm ah, this girl, I miss you. Yeah, wake Aww. up now. So, hey. Ah, hey, no go born. My no friend don't believe you don't bump a kid. You are a mother. <laughs> our, our level don't tell like this. We're not at my level again. You don't change. You understand? Yo. You have to bring a wife we, home for us. I first. will try. Motherhood also brought out the spirituality in me. Mm. Like, it just brought me closer to God because you get some kind of things where you are go see for. Mm. Ah, for mother, we go no say I I trust in God. Yes, I only, believe only God. This <laughs> is my next theory. Really, this thing about how our mothers were so in tune with God and their pastors. Because it was because of their, their, their ma- they when they, they once they became married, yes. your husband go there side they cheat, your children go start to decrease from puberty. Wait, who, 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 you, you the circle you need, your mental, <laughs> exactly. the mental health that time for them was go to church. It was not yes, even it they didn't have therapy and all of these exactly. things. Exactly. So it's just it just kind of brings you back. I remember like even when I was pregnant with Tommy Care, um the at twenty something weeks or so there's a point where the baby is supposed to turn and face mm. down was like closer for delivery and then I went to the hospital and then the doctor was like oh the baby is in a bridge position I know who can understand what's in me I just say look I shall see say my auntie face change ah <laughs> you said your <laughs> my auntie I was like I said ah, auntie why your face change that she be is there anything wrong <laughs> I said if baby does not turn, you can't deliver. Um, you can't have a uh, vagina. Yeah. You have to have season. Yes. And I say, hey, ah, Can okay. I... Oh, mom, for the next two weeks, because my next appointment was in two weeks. Every morning for Batuna, I go put my hand on my on. belly. I go say, hey, you this child. Yeah, the word of the Lord. I do a reverse <laughs> turn. <laughs> you shall turn. You must turn. You will turn. Oh, mom, my next car, she don't turn. No. I love I it. Say, <laughs> And you know, it's these things well, that make us trust God even more. Yes, because you're like, ah, ah, without doing anything, like, I don't even know where you turn, but I know that I said that before I go for the next scan, mm. you would have turned. Like, motherhood just, it just brought me closer to God, especially when you are going through, like, labor or something that you know that even the doctors cannot help you. Like, all they can say is, sorry, sorry. They say, do you want to be? I say, no. Sorry, you are so strong. You are so, I just, they let you, they sing my worship song. They don't say, Papa. <laughs> Before this, Mickey May just come out. Mama, Mickey just come out. <laughs> I was always saying it that I, I really wanted to get married at, was it 24 or something? And I did. Yeah. And it was, when, since when I was in secondary school, because I remember even. Why did you say 24? If I tell you why, you know, it even makes sense to me. So. Because I think my 24th birthday, my, my birthday is 24th of August. My 24th birthday fell on, what was it? Was it a Saturday or something? Yes, my 24th birthday. So you don't calculate the 24th? I don't calculate them. Ah, that, so that's how we go. Just they see when my birthday is. I can't calculate I can't say, ah, Saturday. It's been a nice Saturday. Good. So you married, you married on your birthday? No, I did not. I ended up, no, boy, I ended up getting married early. But like, that was what made mm. me start thinking of 24 initially. But so when I now got into 
into uni as well. And my friends were some would say, ah, 27, 28. That 24 was still. Was still I think that 24. This was years ago. I think it was 23, Seth. Now. When How did you miss to see her big? Where? When? Nah. For my year two now. Was it not 20, 2014? Was it a church boy? Ah, we go MFM, eh? So see, was it? No, I mean, yeah. I can go to church. Now, you carry me go MFM now. No, be oh, really was it a like church me. boy? Hey? To see him. To see? 70 days fasting. Jesus! Okay. <laughs> You and Tosi you know did 70 days fasting. When you are in love, you go come easily. You know I better stop. You know stop. Tomika, <laughs> come with. Tomika, come, eh? Tomika, come with. Tell me so. Were you one of those girls in Unilag that had a, an SU boyfriend? No, Tosi was not an SU. Not a street boy, but he, he just... He just. Was he raised in that um, Christian? Yes, he was. Man, an MFM woman. So, Tosi... And I like that he actually just... He wasn't like he was trying to be spirit. Coco, let me be spirit. He just had... Yeah. He just... He was just into it and he was just used to it. Ah, that time, eh... Power must change and for... For, eh... Eh, uh, uh, for second gates. But second gates. For... Let me see about the expressway. <laughs> you people let second gates really lag. My dear. This relationship was... Let, if you don't uh, marry, I for No. <laughs> but you know the thing is sweet. Because not time where we just spend with each other again. So it was actually... In the presence. Not in the journey. No, no, say so that. Wait, I your dating through. phase was spent in the presence of God. It was God has to be in this relationship. In short, I... <laughs> we go church pass where we did date stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> and they pray to God for grace. Wait, how did you meet him? Was it was in church. No, church. Uh, to me, so calm down. It's not that deep now. Because I know you. I met So I met Tosi at Yem Yem supermarket. <gasps> oh, Yem Yem. <laughs> Oh, my yeah, 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 I'm not going to buy my, bleach, my first bleaching soap. <laughs> Shut up. Your first bleaching soap. So that day, we finished them exams or so. And then um, the queue was too long for cab. I mean, I hated trekking. So I was like, well, let's wait for, on this queue. My this is you like, 20 level, baby girl. Yes. Was it 200? I think it was 300. In I microbiology. Yes. Which hostel you did? Makama. Hmm. Hmm. Which hostel you did? Makama, not be that uh, new hall. Nah, which hmm. At least God. I miss my house, my opposite. You don't see why. <gasps> Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Cheers to you. Take. That was a good one. <laughs> I love it. But you how though. <laughs> See, let's talk about acting. Let me so I don't leave that one for you. Why? When I know you're about your bag. Eh? Does it stress you too much? Uh, uh, how much did they? Mm, very much. Uh, sure. Where you go, they said for three months. No, but I really like it too, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Nice. My own thing is that... Acting is very good. It gives you the visibility though. It like, does. But, uh, and I naturally like to be dramatic. You know I'm a drama oh, king. Oh, yeah. But what, true, what, sure. what I really want is to be able to be creative in the spaces that I want to be. You know, like I'll be handed a script because eh. oh, I want to be able to do my own thing, but produce my own content. Though. It's, it's God now. No, God will help me. God will help me. Actually, now you get show like this. I never get show. Yeah. You don't get show. You are capable, my dear. No, God it's has possible. been saving me. Like, if 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 I know say God go free hand over this kind of show to somebody so irresponsible, <laughs> I for don't do great things. <laughs> <laughs> but God came oh through. No, but before I let you go, I, I want to quickly talk about someone that, that meant so much to you um, that you lost some years ago and it was a really trying time for you because I I didn't know her. I didn't even know she was following me at the time when she passed. But I'd never seen human beings celebrate a, a human's life like that mm-hmm. and what he meant to people. And she meant a lot to you. Oh, she did. Um, you became the Cinderella bride because she literally made sure that everything was sorted for you. Your wedding was literally talked about. And, and when she passed, like, how did you deal with that grief, knowing that this person that had been part of my life for this long? It wasn't even go- that long. Was it for two years? I don't know. No, that. but you felt like she had been in yeah, your life forever because yes. there are too many moments. Like, even when you're sharing your WhatsApps, the kind of conversations. Yeah, because... Like, in that space of grief, do you just ask God, like, God, what's up? This of is not, course. This is the kind of person that should go. Yes. It was, ah, it was very hard to just... You know, at some point, I was even just saying, there was a time that I was just praying, I want to see her, I want to see her. And it wasn't, if I want really to see her. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I needed that closure. closure. I needed that. Okay, mm. so I'm not going to be able to speak to you again, but let's just have this last conversation. Let me just mm. know, are you okay? Are you like, I was just like, let me just, I can't believe that she would just go without me even not saying anything to her. Like, it was, I don't know, it was, it was very painful. And the fact that she even reached out, because we didn't, we didn't talk all the time. But, like, whenever we spoke, we spoke at length. And then she reached out to me, I think, a month before she passed. And she was just, like, she wanted to give my followers 
was it a hundred thousand or something that they should buy food stuff because it was during mm. the lockdown period and i dragged leg with this thing eh? and she never she, she didn't relent like she kept disturbing me to me care how far the people that i said they need help from you let's give them a hundred thousand and kidding but today I finally made the post and then it finally happened. Then she transferred and all of that. And then around that period again, she asked for our account numbers. She wanted to send, she wanted to send money to Tosi and I. You, yeah. Like it just felt very unusual. But because like, I know how this woman is with us, like she loved me so much that, you know, when it just didn't unreal, like how can mm. somebody just love you? People that love you like that, people that witnessed your birth or were there when you were growing up. Like, oh, it's not... significant it, events has happened between exactly. both of you. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't just happen from spotting you on Explore and mm. just entering your DM and she just loves you just like that. Like, it was obviously God's grace and it was very hard and painful for me to come to terms with. Like, I would never forget, like, the day I had, like, you know when it's like, okay, I've had, but I don't think that, like, how mm. can it be that it was, like, the worst period ever like i've never experienced so much pain and so like when you cry when you don't even get what yes. time again so this thing i started like it just occurred to me in the middle of the night like mm. these market women they're actually so like your foundation I'm of yes, yes. No, talk about <laughs> I'm, thinking of, <laughs> I'm thinking of how even i i didn't enter supermarket i didn't feel land for body now yes. like yes because before you would take like 20k and you would come out with bags now you would take like 200k and you would just carry how many bags and it's, it's like now it's terrible ah, What's going on? So if I can be feeling like this, I, I, let me see. What did I buy that mm. reached up to this? How do people? Survive? Yes. So it just I just thought of it that night, and then I just called my mom, like because my mom also helps me with the foundation. Because obviously, like it's really hard. I'm I'm still trying to balance this whole motherhood thing. Mm-hmm. So it has taken a whole lot of my life. So my mom really helps out with the foundation um, in terms of the giving back and everything so that we don't just have funds lying down and she executes literally. Mm. And so I just called her in the middle of the night. I was like, mommy, every week, I want us to be going to the market. We give uh, market women money and we'll give them food stuff. And I want us to start this week. And she was like, eh, okay, no problem. I'm a berry. And that was it. What is the advice for young influencers who are coming, who want to still maintain their essence? What is the advice that you have for them? Because more than ever with social media, in the coming years, every Tom Dick and Ikechi will become influencer. <laughs> and there's space for everybody because you can be an influencer in different in your own right in different spaces, right? But what is the one thing that you would give what's, what's the one advice that you give an influencer, both young and old, that's just starting out to so say, you know what? How do I maintain my essence when I become this person? How do I grow a brand to be to a point where I, I'm like Tommy Care? I can transition from different from social media to other parts of the brand. I think the most important thing is that you you know yourself and you know what you stand for because if you don't stand for something, you will fall for for anything. And that's very important because even for me, like down to my dressing, like even when I was a nobody and it also started with my mom always saying, ah, me, what are we in? No, can you hear me? What are we in? This kind of outfit. So I was always very particular about my outfit. Like you would not see me once you dress that is revealing and all of that. And so even now when I started getting brands to work with me, it became, ah, you don't see me like that, though. So I, I will not do this for your own mm. brand, though. And as much as it was difficult to communicate initially, I was still communicating it in the sweetest ways possible, but ensuring that I didn't bend my standard to just be like them. Because mm. if I did, today now, I won't even know where I'm standing. Mm. Am I dressing for them or am mm. I dressing for myself to actually glorify God? So because I stood my ground, now it's very easy for a brand to come and say, oh, even now they're like, oh, we know you don't wear, and it's good. Know me for that yes, because I will not yes, expose yes. myself unnecessarily. That's the real brand. Exactly. Exactly. So, <laughs> so you actually have to stand for something. And even me standing tall in Christ today, you know, I'm not the best Christian out there. I'm not like the 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 dearest daughter to God. But I know that God has moved things for me. And for that you reason, sure. if I have <laughs> if I have that platform, I want to use it for Him. So, um, this is new for our show. This is a segment. That's sponsored by Lipton. Ah, Lipton. Ah, uh, Lipton, my favorite a, brand. The Lipton where you sent me, eh? eh? You see the drink, I'm I don't drink one pack. Are you not come to events? <laughs> Man, no cast you. That's you are shouting to me, son. I will shout at the whole world, yeah. Off your mic. Uh, look, Let the whole world, yeah. Let the whole off his mic. Um, I shout it. You know, Lipton is about literally connecting, right? So there's a few questions that I want to ask so that we can connect with you okay. on a deeper level. Our Larry B is on the show today, guys. It's not easy to get this Oluria B episode. Oluria B, please, make this episode, make it trend. Make this episode trend. Because so, before I bring Oluria B, call... Now trend, though. Okay. Okay. So this part is called Spill the Tea. I'm going to ask you like three questions. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like this one. Um, What's the one trace you notice in your daughter that reminds you of yourself? <laughs> oh, Jogbo. <laughs> <laughs> the 
gay stomach. <laughs> I, knew that and was I like be the that one. she's so true to herself. If she doesn't want, like, if someone video calls me now and I'm trying to get her to talk she to them, she, like, she, you can be screaming her name. That's and your she's business. Just like, I, I don't care. I don't want to talk to you. And I, also her laughter. Uh-huh. She laughs just like me and she laughs a whole lot. She's she did it to me. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. Sweet girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this one's. Um, what's the most embarrassing or most memorable moments of hosting a show? Why is it the show that we hosted that came to mind and I can't You're remember. dressed here for that show. <laughs> My dress, no tears. Shut what do you have for I don't even know, but that's the only show that came I don't think to. we're prepared for that show. Eh? We're not really prepared. The way we're that, prepared. Now, for that, that, that backstage, now they call it right the things for us. Are we? <laughs> hey, God. That was... <laughs> Oh my! I think that's I the most embarrassing. Said, I think so, but it wasn't embarrassing on stage. It was just, it just backstage. Was, but there was so much anxiety before I got on the stage yes. because I, we, we didn't know what we were coming uh-huh. for. Like, but once we, we got we're, on we're stage, we just flowed. So yeah. Really. Um. Okay. So this one says, "What's a habit that you're trying to break?" Sleeping late. Hmm. Am I even trying to break it at this point? It's an influencer habit. Uh, really? At times I sleep like 3, 4 a.m. to me some. And then in the morning when human beings are getting up and going to work, I'm just starting my night. So I'm just... <laughs> you know, but then you're not those human beings. I'm just... You're the I know. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it doesn't but affect your work. Somehow it does because you now wake up in the evening when the day is over and it's almost mm. like... Except I have like content to shoot, of course. I won't try that, but... Mm. I, I think I need to do better because my daughter has taken after me. 2 a.m. My eyes shining. Jesus. 3 a.m. She's wide awake. So, so when does she sleep? Ah, like four. So we at times three. But both of you are sleeping at the same time. Mm, so yeah. there's no stress. Uh-uh. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's taking after her mother. She's yeah, it. I don't like that kind of taking after <laughs> me. May she not take after me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one, this one will debate. It might just add them last, okay. last. Um, I was going to let you go with three questions, but I'm really curious about what you would say about this, right? Mm. So, um... If you could talk to younger Tomike, what would you say to her? I would say I should not worry you. Mm. I feel like I care too much about what the future would look like. Mm. It wasn't like I was really worrying, but I was just, Actually. I was trying so hard. I was working. If I remove it now, maybe I wouldn't have worked as hard. But, mm. <laughs> but I was so intentional. I like put in the work. I was a hustler, literally. So I feel like I, I really wanted to be somebody and make something out of life and make money. But just seeing how everything has played out, it just made me know that God had that plan and it was just set. Mm. As much as I felt like, oh, I reached this point and the road curved and that was not the plan. The road mm. curved intentionally and it's, I wish I would just together. go back and say, girl, so just be flow. Anything you meet for mm. road that day, just take God it because is God is on the throne and whichever way you're going to be successful. Thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank, Thank you, Lipti, for helping us connect. I mean, this is what the show is really about. Oh, yeah. You. Help me sign up. Oh. <laughs> now, your work with this. This is your, your forte. Oh, yeah. Just to lift him, by the way. Because this was an amazing conversation. <laughs> so. Where is <laughs> What you sipping like me? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode with my friend Timmy. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe because this guy they us too. Ah. If you don't like him, we go go bring another one out for you. Thank Just take you. This one, then, then. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next. I'll be back. Like, call me again. Yes, next call season again. I'll call you. Next season. Next season. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. You go, don't go come by that time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <Bye-bye. laughs>